Welcome to Gun News in 5 minutes or less. This is brought to you by the DR Drake 63 channel. So Gun News in 5 minutes has done a number of stories about the Remington breakup and who's doing what and we thought we'd clarify some things. So once upon a time there was a company called the Remington Outdoors Company. This had spawned from a group that was called the Freedom Group. Love it when they use names like that. That company was purchased by Cerebrus Capital Investment Group. Here is a listing of the brands, many of which no longer exist, that were under that umbrella. And all of these went flying different directions when Chapter 11 hit. The most profitable part of all was the ammo division, and that has been purchased by Vista Outdoors, which is a company that owns, among other brands, Federal Premium. The Marlin brand, which has been around for a long time and is a storied rifle brand, was purchased by Ruger. We've also discussed that extensively. And the Remington Rifle Company is no longer a thing. There's a company called the Roundhill Capital Group that purchased their assets in Ilion, New York, where they will produce a limited assortment from the Remington catalog under the name of Rem Arms. So, not to be confused with Remington. Speaking of confused, are you yet? A lot of the comments I receive are from folks who don't understand why anybody would start or restart a gun manufacturing concern in the state of New York. Well, the biggest reason is they have an established plant and a skilled labor force. And their plan is to have firearms on dealer shelves by hunting season. Me? Well, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, continue to shoot my Remington-made Remington and my Marlin-made Marlin. And just to confuse you some more, my Remington Rand. This has been Gun News in 5 Minutes. For updates, please click to subscribe.